cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking with Dooms Fizz. Hello and welcome once again to Dooming with Cook Vince. I, of course, am Cook Vince, here to bring cooked doom to you. Today, we are going to be making tzatziki sauce of doom. How do you spell tzatziki sauce? Read the screen or the description. Tzatziki sauce, while delicious, is extremely powerful, so I'm going to show you all of your ingredients of power. But first, you must don your proper shielding. If you have a welding mask, you might wish to use that. Of course, we will not be using a welding torch. Unless you really want to. Dooms Vince, do it! You will need all of the following items. Greek yogurt. You may also use regular yogurt, but you have to strain out all the water. Good luck figuring out how to do that. You will also need a cucumber of medium or large size, kosher salt, garlic, minced specifically, red wine vinegar, not red wine, not vinegar, red wine vinegar. Does this stuff again? Mint flakes. Not minced flakes, as my mind was telling me. And lemon juice. You will also need your handy pulverizer. Now, as opposed to then, now you will take your cucumber and wash it. You will wash it using water. Hydrochloric acid tends to erode away all of your cucumber. It may be your hands. I have already washed my cucumber because I utilize the thing known as forethought. Now, take your knife and cut off the ends of your cucumber. Not a lot, you just want a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit, because they are not tasty. Doom's Vince will clean his floor later. Feel free to use a large knife. I like the small ones because they tend to fit better between ribs of the cucumber. Rewash your cucumber if you have dropped it on the floor. Do not be afraid of bruising. You're going to pulverize it. Now, take your cucumber and your knife and cut it down the middle, lengthwise, trying to keep equal portions on both sides, both of them, meaning two. Do not cut your hand. I recommend against it. Now, use your trusty spoon and remove the innards, nigh the guts of your cucumber. Do not get the guts of your cucumber on the contents of your living space. You usually like to keep a clean router. Open your pulverizer and cut your cucumber into sections. You will pulverize it so it does not matter how small the sections are. Just pay attention and do not cut yourself with the pulverizer or the knife. Now that your pulverizer contain your cucumber in smaller bits, we're going to chop it, pulverize it into even smaller bits. Bits that are so small, they're tiny. Sometimes they tell you while making tzatziki sauce, doom, that you should peel it, the potato peeler, which would be temporarily a cucumber peeler, but bear with me. I like a little extra texture in my tzatziki sauce, so therefore I leave the skin on the cucumber. It's more powerfully flavored, and I am a big supporter of power. You want to get your cucumber nice and thin, so I am going to get a spatula that I have purchased from Spatula City and scrape the cucumber off the sides into the pulverizing nexus! Finished. Finished pulverizing the cucumber, that is. You must keep cooking to have completed tzatziki sauce. But James Vince, why are the containers still containing all the ingredients? Because we're not done yet. Why are you using that stupid voice? 
You have completed the use of your knife and spoon. Dispose of them! It is okay if it looks like a soupy mess. We are going to strain out most of the water. This is for flavor, not for texture. That would be disgusting. To strain it out, you will need a colander. A colander is a bowl with holes. In your colander, you will need some kind of cloth that will contain all of your cucumber bits. I am using very strong and sturdy paper towels made by Viva. Pour your cucumber into your cloth. This is extremely wet. You may even be able to see the drippings. We will squeeze them out. Do not worry. You should probably be doing this over your kitchen sink or a receptacle of some kind. Use your common sense. Maybe you should have watched the entire video before you started making your tzatziki sauce of doom! I like to use small colanders. Why? Because I can use my fist to squeeze out all of the cucumber juices. I fold over the paper towels and then I squeeze it out with my fist of doom! Doom's Vince mayhaps have broken his colander and gotten cucumber juice down his coat. Doom coat! Coat of doom! This is the boring part of the process. Incidentally, you are done with your pulverizer. If you are making this with your doom buddy, let him clean the pulverizer while you do this. Or you can argue over who gets to do the boring part. Which one's the boring part? I don't know which one. Stop using that voice! It is important that you get as much of the water out of your cucumber as humanly or doomsarily possible. It might be necessary to start the process over again with new paper towels. Now that you have finished straining your cucumber, you may dispose of the juice as you wish. Retrieve a new bowl. Or you may simply dry out the one that had the cucumber juice. I recommend draining it. You will run out of paper towels. Use your common sense. Place all of your ingredients in one bowl. I'm about to give you the measurements. Use your brain. 32 ounces of Greek yogurt. This entire container is 32 ounces of Greek yogurt. They have not put a tab on here. They have not made it easy for Doomsbits. Aha! Doomsbits succeeds! Place all of your Greek yogurt into the bowl. All of it, provided you have 32 ounces. Where's my spatula? This may actually be the boring part. Dry your hands. That seems sufficient. Next, we will add the kosher salt. You want approximately six pinches of kosher salt. How much is a pinch? You use your fingers and you take a pinch. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Doom's Vince is good at guessing measurements. You also want six pinches of dried mint. Mint is very strongly flavored. Stop stirring, you're not done. Five tablespoons of garlic. Not more, not less, five. And now you will use your red wine vinegar. Put the red wine and the vinegar away. It is not the same thing, I assure you. You will be removed from the Doom Squad. The basketball team will miss you. However, you may remain a doomsayer. Four teaspoons of red wine vinegar. One, two, three, four. Doom's Vince is very quick with his measurements. And finally, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Make sure the lid is nice and tight while you shake it. Now you will add your one tablespoon. Is that right? Yes, that's what the recipe that I made says. One. Do not keep counting. That is counterproductive. You may begin stirring. You may be asking yourself, why are we stirring? Why did we not just merely put it back in the pulverizer? That will destroy the little pieces of garlic and make it extra garlicky. 
You have completed your Zatsiki sauce of doom. You may devour with it as a sauce of doom. Do not eat it by itself. But David, you didn't teach me what to put it on. That's because that's next time. Stay tuned and please watch more cooking with Dooms Vince while he drops everything. I have nothing with which to present this, so I am Dooms Vince. Goodbye.